friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. It's uh, gray and rainy here still, as usual, but we are just gonna keep powering through and hopefully we'll come out the other side. So today, uh, Coder writes in asking about Linux and will we ever put uh, Serenity on top of a Linux kernel? And um, will there ever be a Serenity Linux distribution for the people who would like that sort of thing? And uh, thank you, Coder, for asking about these things. It's been a while since we talked about Linux. So, uh, I guess the quick answer is that no, that's not something I'll be working on. Uh, I'm not interested in working on Linux and trying to integrate, you know, parts of Serenity with Linux or, or anything like that. And same thing with uh, distribution stuff, like I'm not interested in making distributions like that or trying to get parts of Serenity running on other kernels or whatever. Uh, but if someone wants to work on that, then they are more than welcome to do so, thanks to the power and magic of the BSD license. Uh, people can do whatever they want. Um, so, but I guess I could talk a little bit about about why I feel this way and why I have no interest in working with Linux things. So, uh, and let me preface that by saying that uh, that I've been using Linux for well over a decade, like daily active use. So. I am by no means a stranger to Linux, and um, I, I do I do quite like a lot of things about it. But the development style of Linux and uh, desktop Linux in particular is just something that I can't get behind anymore. And it seemed very cool and reasonable when I was young, um, and I was very impressed by um, like how distributions can just form. And you know, people get together with some idea of, of how an operating system should be like, and then they just take all these different packages from all these different sources and they bundle them together and create an operating system out of this uh, you know patchwork quilt of things. I thought that was very cool, and you know, in a way, it is cool. It's it's almost miraculous the fact that it actually works and that it, that it is possible. Um, but. After I spent uh, numerous years working at Apple um, on Mac OS and iOS, uh, I, I just, when I look at, at this modular distributed development style now, I just see such wasted potential. Because the amount of coordination required to build um, like interesting, actually interesting and powerful integrations in an operating system, it, it requires a lot of coordination, and um, it's it's something that certainly at Apple, uh, I saw that how effective that, that can be if, if you get everyone under one roof and um, within like one organization and everyone works together and talks to each other and they share goals and they share targets and everything. Um, you can actually execute a lot of very um, complex and interesting things and you can build very very sophisticated integrations and I just that's the sort of thing that that once you see it you don't want to go back to the other way of doing things where like oh I hope I can convince you know the maintainers of package XYZ to to um, to add this sort of API that I would need to build this thing in my module so that this other module will finally be able to do this and that and uh, and I, I talked to some people who are in that space and they do express this frustration with this that like it's very very hard to actually get things done um, beyond the, the stuff that's already possible and um, and I see that and I, I just don't want to participate in that and that's that's why Serenity is a mono-repo system, mono-repo project. We do everything in one repository, because then everything moves together and grows together. Um, and there's like this life to the project that is like a single heartbeat. 
at the center of the system, at the center of the project, and everything else sort of focuses around that heartbeat. Um, and likewise, you get everybody, every piece of the system using the same um, like library code, the same uh, templates, the same data structures, um, and then that's this gift that just keeps on giving because the more you use this, then the more you, the more value you can get out of optimizing and improving these things. Uh, and that's, I don't know, there's this beautiful synergy in it. And I really, really love this effect that happens when I'm working on Serenity and I want to do something and all of the components are already there and uh, I can sort of just string them together and they're all within the same repository. And if, if I need to make some little tweak to some component just for this new thing, um, then it's right there. And I can even, um, I can change it even in the same commit if it's some interdependent change. And it's, it's just so awesome to be able to do that. And even some of the things that, that I've been doing in the last few months, like, um, like integrating this uh, purgeable memory stuff with window management so that um, you know the kernel is free to steal memory from um, window bitmaps that are like currently under some other window or something like that uh, you know on the basis that the user cannot see this so it would be okay if the kernel took it um, uh, and that sort of integration and being able to do that, I would say that's that's definitely non-trivial in any kind of desktop that's made up of independent components, because you would have to get all these components to coordinate. And in Serenity, that's really really easy and, and really pleasant. And um, I would not want to give any of that up. And I realize, of course, that something like Linux or um, a BSD kernel or some other kernel or whatever um, has a lot more drivers, a lot more mature facilities, a lot more everythings. And there are like immediate benefits to, to using something like that. But then you would also be giving up the, um, the main advantage that Serenity does have, which is that um, it's built um, together with everything else. And I, I really do consider that the big advantage. And I mean, actually, it's, it's one, of the, one of the big advantages. Another one is that this is driven like almost completely by fun and curiosity. Like there's, um, there's nobody working on Serenity um, because they have to or because out of any kind of obligation or for for anything like that um, everybody's just curious and having fun and um, you know if you if you put in something else then you lose that and I don't mind that it takes time to, to build everything up to maturity uh, because we will all learn so much along the way and um, we will had we will discover all these opportunities for interesting integrations along the way which we would just completely miss if we just put something ready made in. So yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. I guess I guess that's how I feel about that. Uh, I, I really, I really like building everything in one big, um, one big project. And. I've seen some other systems doing the same thing, and I totally get why they're, why they're doing it, and um, it's the same same reason that Serenity is. So um, yeah, so so we won't I won't be doing any Linux kernel stuff, and likewise no distribution or anything like that, just because I don't want to. I don't want to lose the thing that makes Serenity awesome for me, which is the, the integrations, the 
fun, the curiosity, and um, and all of that. <laughs> um, I hope that answers your question. And again, though, like I, I, I should really emphasize that if somebody else wants to work on these things, I am definitely not here to say you can't do that. That's not possible. That's not doable. It's very possible, very doable, and you're very welcome to do it. Um, just go right ahead if you want to. But I'll just be, uh, you know, we're chugging along, working on the system, trying to improve it, and um, I'm in no rush to do drivers, to do all kinds of support for all kinds of things. Um, stuff will happen in a natural pace and in a natural order and we'll just have to see where we end up. So, thanks everyone for hanging out with me on the commute and listening to that. And um, please, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions or uh, anything like that, then the uh, comment field below is open and I will try to get to your question um, as soon as I get to it. And if I missed some question, then feel free to ask it again because um, the YouTube comments system is very, very hard to navigate, at least for me. Um, so it's hard to, to locate things that I forgot to answer. And um, sorry about that, but feel free to ask again. Anyways, um, let's go and have a day. See if we can make it a, a good one. And I hope you succeed in that as well. See you next time. Bye.